there can be a perception in the UK that we don't make anything anymore. At Williams, we're part of the high performance engineering and motorsport sector, which actually completely dispels that myth. So the UK government is running a new campaign called Make It in Great Britain, and I am one of 30 industrial champions for that campaign. I volunteered to become involved because I thought it would be important to show what we're doing at Williams and to use that as a showcase to try and inspire the next generation to stay in technical education and to study to become engineers so they can join organisations like Williams and take up some of these challenging and rewarding careers that we offer. We run work experience weeks for local school children. They come in and they spend a full week here in many different departments in the organisation to get a, a sense of the broad range of opportunities that we have on offer. We're a leading manufacturing and engineering company and we want the students to really get a feel for engineering and understand why we're so passionate about it. Did you get to go inside the wind um, tunnel? Yeah, yeah, and we saw it running as well. They've been over to the simulator and had a go in the simulator. They've been in the wind tunnel. Guess what I'm going to tell you all about? I'm going to tell you about headrests. The staff here are so passionate, that passion will have definitely rubbed off on them and they will see what it's like to work for a company like ours. We have a number of staff who are STEM ambassadors. So they go into local schools and they talk to school children about their work and try to inspire them to stay, continue studying science, technology, engineering and mathematics. What it does is it gives them the opportunity to say, now I know what I want to do. I want to work for a company like Williams and this is what I need to do to get there. So Williams in Qatar uh, is engaged in a variety of initiatives to promote education. We undertake a number of activities from junior school level, inviting schools to come in and see what we do, experience some of the thrill of Formula One engineering. Uh, we also work uh, through the tertiary system, um, engaging with a lot of universities to provide internship opportunities. And finally, we've teamed up with Cambridge University Press to write a software package called Race to Learn. Now this can be sold to primary schools and is used at Key Stage 2 to help to inspire young people by using racing as an analogy for a lot of the work that they do with maths and sciences in particular. There's an element of competition in Race to Learn with these groups set up as racing teams and then coming up to present in front of the class the results of their work. The, the thinking behind the software first was to use Formula One and its engaging nature to really help stimulate learning in the classroom. And secondly, uh, Williams recognizes that promoting science and technology and maths is extremely important for the future of, of the economy in the UK and will benefit indirectly Williams at some stage in, uh, in the future. Race to Learn uh, was translated into Arabic and is being used in Qatar in a number of schools. As part of the translation, we introduced a module on road safety. So we feel that um, we're providing great input into the core elements of the Race to Learn package around STEM subjects, but also enhancing the communication about road safety at the junior school level. Williams really enjoy doing these sorts of schemes because we get um, a new generation of people that want to join our company. Williams would encourage boys and girls to join any of our schemes and to apply to us for an opportunity to work here, whether that's through work experience, as a graduate or on the apprentice scheme. We do what we can to try and encourage and inspire the next generation of young engineers who can help us with manufacturing our cars going into the future.